Today on Drawbly, we are looking at the art of David Mogadami. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are self-taught artists documenting our drawing adventures because art is better when shared with friends. So click the subscribe button if you're new around here. And let's get into some amazing looking art. I love those birds. Those are so cool. Oh yeah, I actually hadn't even noticed the birds when I first uh, selected this image. I was obviously distracted by this weird ghoulish um, servant <laughs> yeah. who's collecting water. Yeah, the splashing water is such a, oh man, such a cool texture. I feel like this is an artist that's going to have some amazing textures that I'm not going to be able to stop talking about. This artist does a ton with very colorful environments that are full of texture and light and life. Oh my gosh, wow, that is amazing. I love that. I love the single heron flying through there. This artist does do like characters and some portraits as well, but for the most part for this adventure, I selected a lot of their landscape and environment pieces. Ah, I'm so jealous. I was very drawn to them. So jealous of people that can do amazing environments like this. This is so beautiful and creepy at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and I like how they include so many like flowers in their grass areas. Yeah, me too. And I, lo I love this like purple and orange up on this branch, Ra like, ah, oh, that's such a cool choice. Man, I, I like that a lot. Yeah, so they also do characters. Yeah, I put some in here just to demonstrate and to prove that yes, he does, hmm. but I just love his landscape pieces. I, I feel like here soon, I'm going to go into an environment phase where I stop painting so many portraits and I'm just like full on environment for like half a year. I'll have to learn about backgrounds and foregrounds. And, and midgrounds. Midgrounds. And my grounds and your grounds. This land is my ground. <laughs> <laughs> this ground is made for you and me. This is a very violent but very actiony image here where there's just a lot happening there and going on. There is a lot on. going on, yeah. That's really cool. Oh man, every every single image that I look at, the texture just kind of blows me away. Mm -hmm. This is super cool. I, I love this. I love this. It I love feels I love these characters' faces too. Like a Scottish Highlands. I love the slight, like almost desaturated feel of the flowers in front of us in the front here. Um, this night just killed someone. There was just a battle here. Yes, he, he's got aftermath. blood on himself and on his sword. And Wow, I need to study this person's environments. They are so cool. Yeah, there's so much like chaotic, almost look at the, these, this color above the water makes me feel like there's a bunch of like bugs flying right above oh, the water. Oh, I was thinking leaves, but yeah. That could be too. Yeah. I think you could interpret it either way. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought that was really cool to capture that and to bring it like a bigger, more like of a pop to say what's going on. Yeah, these are breathtaking, mm -hmm. honestly. I love the scribbly nature too of what's happening. It just feels so chaotic, but it works. And as somebody who has been, you know, chaotic with drawing in the past, it doesn't happen by accident. No, this is definitely controlled chaos yes. where like you step away and look at the hole and it's like, wow, that's cool. But then you can start looking at individual small places and be like, Wow, that part is so interesting to look at. That part is so inter like every single piece mm -hmm. has a design to it that's extremely interesting. This I love because there's clearly still water on the ground that's, you know, clear and there's these other trees are reflected into the water, but since light is shining onto the water, the reflected trees are a lot more bright than oh, the trees yeah. that they are reflecting. So cool. Man. Abby, you know what I'm doing later today? We were talking about after we were done recording this that we were gonna go draw. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go draw some environments. I think and I'm gonna draw me working at my desk in the woods. I like to think <laughs> that this is the artist who's like, I wish I could just go draw in the woods instead of be at my desk in an office. Oh man, me too, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of people that are tied to like desktops and tablets that do digital art probably feel the same way. Mm -hmm. Just what if, what if we could just relocate and be mobile. I remember how excited you were when we got iPads. Oh, you know, yeah. you were like, I'm free, I'm yes, free. Yes, 100%, yeah. If I could not, if, if I did not need to sit down at a desk ever again in my entire life, I would be happy forever. <laughs> I love also that they do these really like 
big trees, these just massive pieces that, like when you're first looking at them, you're like, that could be any size. But then you see the little people that grant mm -hmm. perspective and you're like, whoa, that is extremely cool. Shout out to the clouds in this one. Shout out to clouds, one of our <laughs> worst enemies. We shout at clouds. We, Why are you so hard to draw? We do shout at clouds. You look so simple. I like the flowers again in this one. I think I, I was looking at a lot of his environment pieces, and the ones I selected for this artist adventure tended to have a lot more flowers mm. as a general rule. I think that's just a good rule to have in your art is flowers. Note to self, add flowers to art, big success. If flowers equal success in art. I like how the flowers are often different too. Like he doesn't just have one type of flower he likes to include. These look like hollyhocks or clover, but they're different than that flowers he's got in other pieces. And if you check out the complimentary yellow and purples, nice choice mm. there for the flowers. Mm. I think it's interesting how his environments tend to be very like selection tool oriented, but then you get into his figures and I see a lot more of like a traditional rendering style on those. At least on uh, some, the, you yeah, know, not not all of them. Like the Scottish people we're looking at had mm -hmm. like a mixture. This feels like an experimental piece where he's trying to capture the sense of light falling onto a pool that oh. goes into a waterfall, or maybe we have like a waterfall into two a waterfall. waterfalls. Yeah, that's yeah. the vibe I got. But yeah. I, I think the only thing that's missing for me to think it's two waterfalls the is the splash. Yeah, so true. And what about yeah. this waterfall? No, <laughs> not a waterfall. <laughs> the waterfall of man. Uh, no. You don't understand. You're, I, not, you're not an You're not making any sense. And if you would like to not make any <laughs> sense, click that like and subscribe button. And share your work on Instagram with hashtag Drawbly because drawing is better with friends. And this is the part where we say... Goomba. Goomba. Yeah. I'm not making any sense? No. I'm an artist, that's why. You wouldn't understand. You're not an artist like I am. Oh, is that what it is? That mm -hmm. Now everything in our lives makes more sense. No. <laughs>